Hello friends, welcome to our Technica channel family. Please subscribe our channel for inspired us. Today our topics is top 15 refrigeration and air conditioning MCQ. Question number 1 for a domestic refrigerator the cup is A. More than 1 B. Less than 1 C. Equal to 1 D. Unpredictable. Answer A. More than 1. Question number 2. Relative cup is equal to A. Actual COP theoretical COP B. Actual COP X theoretical COP C. Theoretical COP actual COP D. None of these. Answer A. Actual COP divided by theoretical COP. Question number 3. How is the capacity of a refrigerating machine expressed? A. Inside volume of the cabinet. B. Lowest temperature attained. C. Rate of abstraction of heat from the space being cooled. D. Gross weight of machine is tones. Answer. C. Rate of abstraction of heat from the space being cooled. Question number 4. The critical pressure of a liquid is A. The pressure above which a liquid will explode. B. The pressure above which a liquid will always convert into a vapor. C. The pressure above which a liquid will remain a liquid. D. The pressure below which a liquid will always be a vapor form. Answer. C. The pressure above which a liquid will remain a liquid. Question number 5. The highest temperature of refrigerant in a mechanical refrigeration system occurs A. Before expansion valve. B. In evaporator. C. Between evaporation and condenser. D between compressor and condenser answer d between compressor and condenser question number six when does the refrigerant exist a saturated liquid in a vapor compression cycle a after passing through the expansion valve b after passing through the condenser c before passing through the condenser d before entering through the compressor answer b after passing through the condenser Question number 7. What is the effect of superheating in a refrigeration cycle? A. Does not change COP B. Decreases COP C. Increases COP D. None of these answers. B. Decreases COP. Question number 8. In a refrigeration cycle a capillary tube is used A. To produce cooling effect. B. To control the temperature of refrigerated space. C. To convert refrigerant from liquid to vapor state. D. To control the flow of refrigerant. Answer. D. To control the flow of refrigerant. Question number 9. Is the most distinguishing feature of absorption type refrigerator? A. Small size for the same refrigerating machine. B. Only low grade of energy in the form of heat used. C. Higher COPD, quieter operation. Answer. D. Quieter operation. Question number 10. Ammonia is preferred as a refrigerant in large commercial installations because A. It has low latent heat. B. It is non-toxic. C. It is relatively cheap. D. It has low working pressure. Answer. C. It is relatively cheap. Question number 11. The diameter of the suction pipe of refrigerating unit compressor, in comparison to delivery site is A. Bigger. B. Smaller. C. Equal. D. Unpredictable. Answer. A. Bigger. Question number 12. Which among the following advantages are entailed by dry compression? A. It permits complete evaporation in the evaporator. B. It permits higher speeds to be used. C. It results in high volumetric and mechanical efficiencies. D. All of these. Answer. D. All of these. Question number 13. A clicking sound may be heard in the expansion valve of a newly charged ammonia compressor system due to A. Less charge of ammonia. B. Excessive charge of ammonia. C. Leakage of ammonia. D. Choking of evaporator coils. Answer. A. Less charge of ammonia. Question number 14. Flash chamber in the refrigeration circuit is installed A. To reduce the size of evaporator by avoiding vapor going to evaporator. B. To improve overall heat transfer coefficient. C. To reduce pressure losses through the evaporator. 
D. All of these. Answer. D. All of these. Question number 15. If R22 refrigeration system is charged with R12 then A, it will not function. B. It will have considerable fluctuations in the operating pressures. C. Its refrigeration capacity will be reduced to about one-third. D. It will operate at low temperature. Answer. C. Its refrigeration capacity will be reduced to about one-third. Hello viewers. Welcome to the Technique our YouTube channel. If you like our video please subscribe our channel and share the video. Today we gonna discuss about common refrigeration IMCQ question. Let's start the video. Question number 16. In a flooded evaporator, type of expansion device is employed? A. Self-actuated expansion valve. B. Capillary tube. C. Thermostatic device. D. Float valve. Answer. D. Float valve. Question number 17. A pressure gauge on the discharge side of compressor A. Gives an idea about the COP of the cycle. B. Gives a warning when the pressure reaches a dangerous point. C. Confirms the flow of refrigerant in cycle. D. None of these. Answer. B. Gives a warning when the pressure reaches a dangerous point. Question number 18. In a vapor compression system, a thermometer is installed in the main line close to the compressor at A. It helps the operator to adjust compressor for greater efficiency. B. Temperature helps in calculating the COPC. Temperature indicates whether liquid or vapor refrigerant is going to compressor. D. None of these. Answer. A. It helps the operator to adjust compressor for greater efficiency. Question number 19. Which refrigerants will be preferred if space occupied by the refrigerating plant and cost are the major considerations? A. Methyl chloride. B. Ammonia. C. Sulfur dioxide. D. Carbon dioxide. Answer. D. Carbon dioxide. Question number 20. In vapor absorption system using ammonia, water is required for A. Condenser only. B. Separator only. C. Absorber, separator and condenser. D. Absorber only. Answer. C. Absorber, separator and condenser. Question number 21. What is the function of brine agitator in an ice plant? A. To reduce compressor power. B. To obtain uniform temperature at brine. C. To increase COPD. None of these. Answer. B. To obtain uniform temperature of brine. Question number 22. Which of the following statement is correct? A. Dew point temperature is the saturation temperature corresponding to the partial pressure of the water vapor in moist air. B. Dew point temperature can be measured with the help of thermometer. C. Dew point temperature is the same as the thermodynamic wet bulb temperature. D. For saturated air, dew point temperature is less than the wet bulb temperature. Answer. A. Dew point temperature is the saturation temperature corresponding to the partial pressure of the water vapor in moist air. Question number 23. Relative humidity is A. It denotes the amount of water vapor actually present in air as a percentage of maximum amount that could be present at that particular temperature. B. It represents the ratio of mass of water vapor to the mass of dry air in a given volume of air-water vapor mixture. C. It is the mass of water vapor per unit volume of air-water vapor mixture. D. None of these. Answer. A. It denotes the amount of water vapor actually present in air as a percentage of maximum amount that could be present at that particular temperature. Question number 24. In a psychrometric chart, what does the vertical lines parallel to the ordinate indicates A. Wet bulb temperature. B. Specific humidity. C. Dew point temperature. D. 
Dry bulb temperature. Answer D. Dry bulb temperature. Question number 25 can be measured by a sling psychrometer. A. Absolute humidity. B. Dry bulb as well as wet bulb temperatures. C. Specific humidity. D. Wet bulb temperature. Answer B. Dry bulb as well as wet bulb temperatures. Question number 26. Among the following which statement is incorrect regarding dehumidification process A. Enthalpy of saturation increases B. Dry bulb temperature remains unchanged C. Moisture is removed D. Specific humidity and relative humidity decreases Answer A. Enthalpy of saturation increases Question number 27 What does the curved lines on a psychrometric chart indicates? A. Dew point temperature. B. Relative humidity. C. Specific humidity. D. Dry bulb temperature. Answer B. Relative humidity. Question number 28. Which of the following decreases during sensible cooling of air? A. Specific humidity. B. Wet bulb temperature. C. Dry bulb temperature. D. None of these. Answer C. Dry bulb temperature. Question number 29. Dew point temperature is constant as long as there is no change in A. Volume of air. B. Relative and specific humidity of air. C. Moisture content of air. D. WBT and DBT answer. C. Moisture content of air.